Okay, bye. <laughs> it is but I don't think it is all I know it is it's not cooler than this but he is like a minute from my crib I'm gonna try to guess what it is before I see it I swear I'm not looking it's a fucking vet some type of LT it's not a Hellcat I hear a supercharger oh oh this faggot He's literally a faggot. Literally a homo. I thought this, damn. Harry and Chase are watching this laughing right now. He got me. And normally he don't got me. All right, I ain't mad about that. It's a good looking Hellcat, brother, I tell you what. This dude's literally a faggot, bro. <laughs> You're still fat. Alright guys, I don't know the last time we made the video, but we're gonna start this video off by saying it was a good run to Harry, because... What? It's over with for you, boy. The track is getting modded. All right, guys, we're getting the track put back together. Basically, instead of it being a stock SUV, now it's got a 285 upper. 1,200cc injectors going in shortly. And we're going to be uh, putting in work in tonight. Guys, a couple hours later, and we're about wrapped up. We're still waiting on UPS to get here for my ECU thermostat and the injector clips. And then she is ready for her first start. Harry, I would just like to thank you from all three of us for the tremendous amount of work that you've yeah, helped no us problem, with today. No all right. Dude, Harry, you're doing great. Thank you. Ooh, big brr! Oh. This is the man we were waiting to see. We're waiting on you all day, brother. Everything clearly never goes as planned. We have everything we need except for the injector adapters. And they're supposed to be in the box, and they weren't. So, we gotta do that. I'm gonna have to wait till probably Monday or Tuesday to get those. And then the thermostat, and it's literally done and ready to rock for tuning. So Time. We finally got everything locked in after a couple of trips back and forth to Illinois to get the right adapters. Shout out Shane for getting me those. But uh, we're about to call James, get this thing tuned, and see what she fucking does. No, I mean, it's, I hear the fuel pump coming on, and it doesn't sound like anything up front. I forgot I got IGLA. <laughs> Christ, the throttle response is night and day. All right, baby. Good. Set in sport mode, it will still upshift in manual. Yeah, but just put it in track. Dude, it's going to blow them off. So leave it off. Leave it on track. It's okay. Just point it straight when it shifts, let off, and like keep it pointing straight. Oh, I'm a driver. I just don't want to fucking. You're a big boy. You got this. All right. Got the 93 tune on her. It's finally dried up, so we're gonna go take her for a lap. And it, dude, it, the blower sounds way different. Everything sounds way different. I can tell it's a whole different animal, even on just 93. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to go burn the rest of this bogus 93 out of it, so we can get some E85 in it tonight. I'm gonna try to find a pump that's pumping higher than 70, so we can get some good ethanol content in her, and let's get to it. But for now, 
We'll go get a little bit of a 93 action to show you guys how she runs. guys me and slurp and derp are on our way to a e85 station that is super far away but from looking online it looks like they have really good ethanol content so we're going to take a trip there and i'm gonna give slurp and derp a little uh hit on 93 before we add another 100 horsepower here soon so do a little dig action Not too bad, it was second gear leave that time. The first time I tried it, I thought it was in second, but it downshifted back to first. Now it stayed in second and actually left pretty good, so. James also said that we're gonna be dialing it in more. I guess, dude, we'll go to each road and, you know, we'll make our own sauce, but. That'll be the last 93 hit. Uh, we got about a quarter tank left to drain out. Hopefully by the time we get there, it'll be just about out, and then we'll throw the E85 in and see what she's talking about. All right, I could have possibly taken a bad way, but the good news is, Still a trap hawk, oh, but we we in trail hawk mode though. Hopefully this is strong enough to hold me. What other 800 horsepower car you know they can do that? Huh, you know. All right, guys, we just wrote the first tune. Old girl's first E85 fill up. Try to get a little thumbnail. But here we go. Ethanol's going in. Let's see how she do. Alright, let's see how cold James is with the fucking first fire up on E. Damn. That was, yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> Who's on your screen there, boy? Oh, it's Josh. Alright, guys. E85 inbound. I did bring the draggy with me, so hopefully uh, we're able to get some good passes off. And it feels good. It feels good. I was kind of in the moment and paying attention last night, but after watching the videos back, I'm like, it looks like it's actually moving pretty good. So let's see. So it's not bad. We this is literally the base map on E85. We have not done any tweaks to the tune after loading the initial base map. So it looks like it just went 735, 60 to 130 out here in rainy Mexico. So I'm not I'm not mad about that at all. So 735 with no dials in on the tune yet, we're moving. So I'm I'm stoked. We're gonna get some data logs going and get back over to James and see what we can't get old girl to do. Well guys, I was done modding it for a second, but Everett told me I was gonna blow my cats out. So I just did a cat delete on her. It's got catless mid pipes now, and this thing sounds insane. Literally cannot hear the blower at all anymore, and it was so loud.
right, so with no revision still, still on the same first revision, that went two tenths faster than it did previously. So I think we got a little bit of tuning to do and we're in the sixes. So that's full interior. Full fucking interior. I'm happy. I'm not going to complain at all. Once we do some more data logs and get them back over to uh, James, I think we got a bad little unit. But for now, guys, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the start of the new track hog content. There's going to be a lot to come this year. And uh, we're back on the ass. See you guys in the next one.